What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodeMe.com and in this video, we're going to add profile pictures to our nav bars for our Twitter clone app with Django and Python. All right, guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to add our profile pictures to our nav bars. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodeMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. It's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, moving right along in our Twitter clone app. In this video, we want to add our little sort of rounded profile picture up at the top of the screen in our nav bar. And when we click on this, it goes to our profile or wherever you want it to go. So that's what we're going to be looking at in this video. So let's head back over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Batch Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this Django Twitter clone series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So let's head over here to our musker slash templates directory and let's look at our nav bar. And when we pull this thing up, scroll down to the bottom, we see we have this search bar right now. And if we come back to the website, if I hit reload, reload here, we have this search thing, but we're not actually using it for anything. So I'm going to get rid of this for now. We can always add it back later if we want. Instead of this, we're going to put a little profile picture thing right there. So this is the actual search thing. So I can just kind of comment this out for now. We'll use an HTML comment tag right there. See, that's nice and commented out. If we save this, head back over here, hit reload. We'll see, boom, that's gone. So, all right, what we want to do now is add first a link over here and then actually a picture, our profile picture uh, over here. So what we need to do is add some, basically some bootstrap code that says, hey, put a link over on this right side of the screen. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna grab this thing because first off, we need to know whether or not our user is authenticated, right? So let me just pop that in there. And right away, I always wanna end my if, right? So inside of here, we need to create a UL tag. This is an unordered list in HTML, right? So we need to give this a class equals navbar dash NAV. And then we also want it ML dash auto. And that will move it all the way over to the right, right? So inside of here, now we need an LI tag. This is a list item. So we have our unordered list, the UL. Inside of there, there's a list item. This is just basic HTML stuff. But to make this bootstrapified, we need to give this a class of, and we want to give this a nav dash link class and also a nav bar dash brand. And brand for bootstrap is sort of like image, like it's a branding image or a logo or something, right? So we'll use nav bar dash brand and that looks good. And here I'm just going to put our user and we need some closing tags. There we go. So, all right, let's go ahead and save this, head back over here, see if that worked, hit reload, and boom, it says admin. So we can use all of our sort of model stuff, right? So if we want user dot first underscore name, we could do that, whatever, all the different things that are in our model we could use. So, okay, we could just leave it like that if you want. Uh, you know, that's not great. Let's make this into a link real quick. Let's go a href equals, close that. And what do we want? We want to send this to our profile page. So I'm going to come up here to our My Profile link. And I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Come back down here and boom, click on that. All right, so let's save this, head back over here, reload. And now we get this ugly blue link, but we're going to change it anyway. So if we click on this, it goes to our profile. So if we're on our home page and we click on this, it goes to the profile. So, okay, that looks good. So now instead of this, we want an image. Well, if we head over to our home page, we could see here is here is the actual image that you know we're using for our profile. This is the call right here. So I'm just going to copy this, head back over here, and let's create inside of here. Oops. Instead of this being user dot first name, let's put an image tag. So img src. And we'll just put this whole thing here. Now, this is getting weird looking. So let me tab this over so that we can get this all on one line. Now, we don't want meep.user.profile. We just want user.profile.profile underscore image dot URL. So if we save this, head back over here and hit reload, ah, we get this huge thing, which is most definitely not what we want. So we need to tweak this a little bit. And let's add a class of, now I want to make this rounded. So let's go rounded dash circle. If you want to keep it square, that's fine too. But if we save this, 
hit reload. Okay, now it's rounded. I like that better, but whatever you like. And now we also want to change the size of this thing. So let's give it a width of like, I don't know, let's try 30. See what that does. Hit reload and boom, much better. There we go. So now if we click this, goes to the profile, go to the profile list, everything is great. Well, that works fine if we have a profile image, but what if we don't have a profile image? So let's head back over to our code and let's go to our profile list page because on that one, we have this logic here. We say, hey, if there is a profile image, use it, else just use this static image thing here. So I'm going to copy this and let's head back over here. And let's just pop this in. But instead of profile.profile .profile image, this is going to be user.profile.profile .profile .profile image. And then else. And we always want to end our if right away so we don't forget. So if there is a user profile image here, use it. Otherwise, use something else. So what is the thing that's else? Well, let's come down here and just grab this guy and paste it in. But instead of rounded dash start, we want this to be rounded dash circle. And let's give this a width of 30. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this. And we're going to have to log out and log in as, oops. Oh, and you know what? We forgot to load our static tag in our nav bar. So I'm just going to come up here. And we can add this at the top of our nav bar. Let's just go ahead and load static. Come back over here, hit reload. Okay. So here, let's register real quick. My username is going to be uh, Kodomi2. <laughs> let's go John Elder. I don't know, mail at Kodomi.com password. All right. Register. And there we've got this nice round little guy because we don't have a profile image. And that looks good. If we log back out and log back in as admin, we also now have the regular profile image. So very simple, pretty cool, but definitely adds a little something. Now you might want to get rid of this my profile link because it's over here now. And in fact, let's go ahead and do that. So let's head back over here to our nav bar, scroll down to let's see this guy right here. And we could just take this whole LI block out. This is our my profile link. There we go. Save this head back over here, hit reload, boom, now that disappears a little bit cleaner up here. And uh, we're coming right along. Looking good. Now if you don't want this rounded thing there, right, you can come back down here and let's see instead of rounded circle, we could just take out this entire class. All right, so if we save this, head back over here, it's still going to be 30, but now it's going to be square. Maybe you like that better because it's a, you know, sort of a rectangular nav bar. Personally, I don't know. I kind of like the, the rounded thing. So I'm just going to put that back. Hit reload. Boom. Eh, I don't know. I kind of like that better. But whatever you like, that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And check out Kodomi.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off lifetime membership. So that's access to all my courses, almost 60 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 170,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Kodomi.com, and I'll see you in the next video.